something that kind of has worked me up and freaked me out is when Klaus Schwab about three months ago said, the biggest threat to the new world order is libertarianism. And I was like, what the hell? What is he? <laughs> All Freedom. of a sudden, it's right in plain sight. They're like, this is, we finally said the thing that for 20 or 30 years you've been, that we've been pretending like we're not saying that Amer libertarianism, was that like an American political just, no, it's ideology? Just liberty. It's just, just it's it's the the purest uh, individual first kind of political philosophy that you can come up with, I think, is probably a good it, way to say it, it. It's older than this new technocracy, so I don't see how this old methodology could be a threat to something new. The new thing has the burden of proof on it. It, it has the burden of requirement to show that it's better than what we had before. The past can't threaten the future. Well, it's not even the future, though. All the stuff they're talking about, collectivism, these are not new ideas. These are very old ideas. The problem is it relies on electricity. All this stuff relies on electricity. All this whole technocracy, this whole global spying endeavor. If the power goes out, we're back to, like, grassroots. Yeah, but, I mean, the, the impulses that they have, like the, the kind of, like, you know, centralized top-down power centralization stuff like that doesn't need electricity they did that in the soviet union with like when it first became the soviet union they were there was no it was a peasant you know they were all farmers and agrarian they didn't go through the the normal uh you know capitalism and then to socialism or the the I, what marx said marx said that it would be capitalism and socialism they jumped from like the stone age to like modern times so, so like and they were very brutal and like monarchies are known for being very, at least past in the past, very brutal. If you spoke out against the king, get your head cut off, kind of thing. So I don't like, know it, that they really are known for that. I think no. that there were some that were, but that I don't know that I'm sure. That, or there were plenty of benevolent dictators, and and you know, they also wrote the history books, so they're not going to write themselves to look like evil villains. But like the, the the electricity maybe is what keeps central authority peaceful. And if the electricity goes out, then they have no choice but to rule by force. Th Thailand still has les majeste laws. What's that? If you disparage the royal family in any way, you get locked up. Even yeah. you can, mm. even if you're quoting someone else to criticize the criti criticism of the king. So, like, if you said something like, did you hear what that man said? He should be jailed for saying the king is stupid. Oh, you said the king is stupid. You're under arrest. Oh, you can't even just forming the no. words. Well, that's what that's what I was told. And, and people in the country were very scared to. They were like, you can't even criticize the, the phrase. You can't say. Mm. How dare someone say the king is stupid? That's what that's what I was told. That's how serious the law is. But uh, man, back when I was there, like ten years ago, they loved the king. Now I don't know because that it was King Pumipon. It was now, a different king. Well, now it's his son, and his son was considered to be like we we did. It was really funny because we did a documentary in uh, uh in Thailand about the king and how he's beloved. He did a lot to help raise the uh, literacy rates and pull people out of poverty. So as much as there were people, it was funny because there were groups that were protesting monarchy and wanted a parliamentary system. I think they have one, but they wanted to get rid of the monarchy. And they were like, all of the leaders that I met were like, the king's so awesome, but it's just time for a modern era. That's the only deal we have. And then there were some people privately be like, I hate the, like more leftists and more like, you know, ugh. but then when the uh, prince was taking over and he's like seen on video, like flying somewhere, wearing hot pants and like doing drugs and other weird <laughs> crazy. Yeah, right. It's like a hundred Biden. I, I literally like Hunter Biden. Then people were just like, okay, wait a minute. So we made this documentary and when we tried releasing it. We actually had to structure. I got it. I got a script I was reading. And then after we finished, they come back to me and they're like, we need to reread this line for the documentary because we, we insinuate that there are people who called the prince a bad name and this could get people in Thailand thrown in prison. So there's another way to phrase it. Instead of saying he's a drug addled moron, say people view him as weaker than the demigod father that he has. And I was like, are you kidding me? And they were like, better safe we, than sorry. We really want to criticize the guy. And so that's how we do it.